I've recently been having some issues with my notebook. That's also why I decided to uh, get a new one, but this is the old one here. It's a Median E7214 and the problem is with the LAN port. Uh, this notebook has a gigabit LAN port. Um, it's, it's generally not a bad device, but there's something wrong. The problem is that as soon as I use the LAN port, um, the Ethernet connection simply drops every couple seconds. I can't even ping anything anymore, so it's not really a software issue. Uh, it only happens over LAN, Wi-Fi works fine, even the Wi-Fi on this notebook is also pretty bad because when I use Wi-Fi and uh, have something plugged into the speaker terminals uh, to, and to the headphone jack at the same time, I get pop sounds like every 10 seconds, which makes the thing pretty much unusable. But over LAN it's fine. But as I said, I can't use that anymore because it drops the connection constantly. Occasionally uh, even kills the switch and I have to restart that. So, um, I'm kind of hoping that it is that it is a, I uh, was kind of thinking that it is a contact problem because it started out as simply cutting out when I moved the LAN cord, but um, yeah, right now it's doing it even if the notebook's standing still, so I guess it is a, maybe, maybe it's a bad solder joint. I, I kind of hope that is. Initially I thought I won't bother trying to fix this thing because it's going to be a pain and SMD and stuff. But right now I just took it off because I wanted to get the SSD out of there. Which I thought about using my new computer, but actually I've got a second one here, so I'll probably use this one. Um, anyways, then I noticed that this thing here, that's the LAN port, and it actually is not SMD, it is a through hole connector. And so I thought I'd just give it a shot, heat everything up and try and resolder it and if I'm lucky it'll work and I get a working LAN port again. That means this notebook will be fine again. I also think about replacing the Wi-Fi card because maybe it's a problem with this thing and not with the general design, the, the pop sounds that I get when I'm in over Wi-Fi, but I'll see. Okay, first of all I'm gonna put a bit of flux on there. Problem is there are pins in the back which I can't really get to. So, that's going to be a bit of pain. I'm not going to completely desolder and resolder this thing because that's only going to resolve the problems. So, let's see. Now, let me unplug the fan first. Kind of move this wire out of the way. Now, let's see what I can do, do about this. Looks like they used very little solder on some of the pins. So. Okay. So, no, there are pins in the back which I simply cannot get to. Hmm. Now I have to hope that there are no shorts anywhere. <laughs> Generally, this ain't a half bad notebook, even though it is from a discounter. But it has two hard drive slots, two RAM slots. So, okay, the RAM slots are pretty much standard, but the two hard drive slots are pretty cool. I only use one though for a 120 gigabytes SSD, but um, I might. If I was using this notebook more actively, I might be using a secondary hard drive slot for a mechanical drive of a gig uh, of a terabyte or something, and for for music, movies, stuff like that. 
problem is that the rubber feet are on on the actual base plate, so I guess I'm just going to clip that back in. Center screw, come out screw, thanks. Good enough for now. So I'll get the power supply and be right back. Okay, apply power and try to turn it on. Okay, it's starting. That's a good thing already. Okay, ask for bias password. Okay, wait for it to boot. Okay, now let's see whether the LAN port still works. Okay, let's came on, that's a good thing. Actually, can be a better few screws away. There we go. That's better. So, let's see. Network settings wired. We've got gigabit connection nodes. Good. So now let me ping out to the internet, which doesn't work. Uh, why? Let me try something different. Okay, we're the local, so it's probably full route. No, that's correct. So why am I not able to? Okay, now it does work. Okay, whatever. Unless that was the problem again. So we're pinging, that's good. So now, um, let me wiggle a bit on plug. See where our connection drops. Up until now, everything looks pretty good. Okay, it works perfectly fine now. That's cool, so it worked. Before, um, if you look on the side, you can see this connection indicator there. And before, it was turning off as soon as I basically touched it and just I'm really moving it hard, and it's not going off anymore. So, maybe I should have showed you the problem before, but okay, so it really was just a broken solid joint somewhere on the LAN connector, and it's fixed now. Okay, cool. So, for any one of you who has problems with this notebook, a E7214 manufactured by Median. Uh, if any one of you has problems with it, the LAN port on it, simply go ahead, open it up. You don't. You only have to open up the normal bottom plate, and you get access to everything, including the LAN port. Just heat up the solid joints, add some flux, and maybe use some new, oh, where is it? Oh, whatever. Oh, there it is. Uh, maybe add some few, uh, add a few bits of solder. I used a very thin one, um, 0.5 millimeter solder here. You don't want to be using something like this. That's too thick. Uh, you're gonna bridge very easily then. But yeah, okay, cool, works.